Welcome to part 2 of my placement prep series. Let's talk about how to clear the coding round in any company. Let's talk raw and discuss how to start coding and how to clear coding rounds. You'll be knowing your current stage of your placements by taking the free quiz which I created and also the problems that students generally face while coding. So this video is for those especially who don't know where to start. First of all, let's discuss the types of students. The shy guy, the overconfident guy, the confusion guy and the postponing guy. So let me brief out what these types are. But before that, I wanted to ask you guys one thing. I have started the placement series to help you guys and all of my videos are performing good. But the thing here is I nearly got 80,000 views, but my subscribers are just 3k. So consider subscribing this channel would be helpful. So the first one, shy guy. This guy is always living his whole life thinking about what others will say about him while he start coding. Like if he starts any coding, he is feared that his friends will mock him. Like we got a coder, like we got all the hacker in our room. Like these names. But see, if you are this type of guy, the shy type, if you study and learn, you will get a job. If you don't, then you are lost. Okay. So start focusing on yourself rather than others. Let them say whatever they want. You can't change people, but you can upgrade yourself. The next type is overconfident guy. I personally am the best example for the overconfident guy. Why? Because I used to think that I know aptitude very well. And I could clear any coding rounds by cheating or by learning coding just one night before the exam. That's how I used to be thinking. What happened? You all know that even though I cleared aptitude for most of the companies, I failed to clear the coding technical rounds. This type of guy usually can learn and do things, but their overconfidence is their enemy. So remove this, bend your head and first of all, start learning. This is the only option to survive nowadays. Type 3. The confusion guy. This guy is always in a confused state. He starts aptitude after two days, he jumps to coding, then after two more days, he switches programming languages. Due to lack of roadmap and lack of research, he stays stuck in a confused state. Most of the students belong to this category. They don't have any proper guidance or clear roadmaps to follow. And the next type is the postponing guy. Like the name says, he always thinks there is a lot of time left, so he'll start later. But this guy may end up in the worst spot. Why? Because BTEC life slips from your hands just like that. You have completed your BTEC with no placement if you don't take this seriously. So for any type of student, the main step is to start coding early if you are preparing for placements. Most of the students are still confused about where to learn, how to learn and what to learn. So let's begin our video, how to clear the technical coding rounds step by step. The main question is what to learn and how to learn. Many companies focus mainly on these topics for a fresher. Take a good look at these topics and take a screenshot. Step 1. Create a roadmap. So prepare a roadmap. It includes what you are going to do today. For example, today I will create this topic and practice these questions to get the perfection. Like that. What really helps is it keeps you focused and stops you from jumping between random topics. The step 2 is select a programming language and stick with it. There are different languages like Python, C and Java. Know which is best for you. For example, Java. This is one of the most commonly used languages by interviewers. So, if you choose this, learn it thoroughly and be ready to answer any type of question. Python. The student friendly, easy, understandable language. Looks simple and has smaller lines of code. You can do DSA very easily in this language. But remember, after placement, you may still need to learn Java or C because many companies require them. C. The first language most students start with. It's actually a smart way to begin. But if you choose this, you have to practice more. Keep that in mind. It is your choice in selecting the programming language. If you want to know in-depth difference between them, comment down below. Coding language selection. I will do a dedicated video on this topic. Step 3. Start preparing your notes. Why? See, if you don't have proper notes, you won't have any confidence. So, build a perfect notes. When you open the notes, you must be able to recall everything you have learned. It must include definitions, syntaxes, sample use cases, example problems, logic explanations and practice problems. That's how coding notes must be prepared. I personally created the most asked kit, the coding wizard kit. It contains everything you needed to take you from beginner to pro coder. And it contains notes for Python, C and Java separately. Each folder has main notes, practice problems, mini projects and example syntax PDF. Check it out on my website learnwithbobby.com. And to make it even easier, I have created a free quiz for you guys. Take the quiz and know your current level, where you are in your placement journey. Find out what are your strengths, what are your weaknesses and what should you focus on. The quiz is completely free, link is in the description or on my website. Don't forget to check it out. Step number 4. You have created your notes or got my own notes. Now the main thing, practice. I have included all types of practice problems in my kit. Practice them helps you build your own logic. 
and for this practice also i have created a web page only for the students which is completely free and its name is students desk there is a chat community for you guys where you can ask any type of questions and connect with many and build your network this is only for the students who really want to gain knowledge and for those who wanted to learn and grow in career come and visit students desk daily then move to practicing on online platforms like hacker rank code chef or lead code etc why we need to practice here there are ample amount of questions and different types of questions present here the companies may ask you any type of question you must be able to readily build the logic and write the code in the given time this will help you by giving you a lot of time to rectify the errors also in the exam bonus tip these platforms even provide the certifications for practicing in them use these certificates also so the problems the students face while coding are errors and typing difficulties everyone face errors some students are even afraid of errors don't get stuck when an error pops up instead read it find out which line is causing the error and fix it that's how you grow the second one is typing difficulty how many of you bought a laptop and still don't use yeah we all know the truth very few actually use and know how to type properly this needs to change simple trick start using your whatsapp on your desktop it will help you learn typing unintentionally i personally learn how to type by playing gta vice city i used to type cheat codes so fast that's how i build my speed comment down if you played vice city 2 and there are plenty of websites that can track your keystroke and can help you improve typing so start today even it's small be consistent follow the road map and trust the process the coding round can be cracked easily simply don't delay don't fear and don't be confused let's crack placements together join the community and take the free quiz and know your knowledge that's it for today's guys peace out